Hello everyone and welcome to Fallout 76. In this new video series guys, I'm going to be showing you just my general experiences with the game. Showing you a few tips and tricks. And in some videos reviewing the game. So in this particular clip right here guys, I'm basically going to be taking on the death ball with my pal Twin Pinky. Um, it was good fun. I've really enjoyed the social aspect of Fallout 76. And I can't wait to see where it takes me, what adventures I go on. Now guys, the main point of this video is to show off the one of the early quests in the Enclave. Um, I might do another video on how to start the Enclave quests, but I actually stumbled upon it accidentally while I was looking for it. So anyway guys, spoiler alert. You have been warned. So this is all from the Enclave guys. This stuff here. So this is Modus talking from the Enclave. Speaking of which, you've kept your end of the bargain. Let us fulfill our We've ordered the Kovac to drop off a little care package. Return once you've collected its contents. So yeah, quite a lot they'll leave you little little packages that you can find. Get some alright weapons and armor with them. One thing I'm really enjoying right now about Fallout 76 guys is the abundance of weaponry. Right, it's a bit annoying with their condition going down just like on Fallout 3. But I think they've done a fairly immense job with the weapon customizations and the variance of weapons. My favourite weapon, which I'll be doing a video on later on, um, aesthetically at least, or for role playing purposes as well, is definitely the chainsaw. It only has a damage of 2, which is pretty shit. But, um, we'll talk about that at a later time. And my favourite heavy weapon of all time now has got to be 50 caliber machine gun, which you'll see in a future video, and the Gatling Plasma. Also, out of my regular firearms, my pump action shotgun. Now, why they didn't have this in Fallout 4 is completely beyond me, guys, because I really loved this weapon. You know, I really wanted them to put a pump action shotgun in Fallout 4, and hopefully, you never know, they might do it with Creation Club, but I just somehow don't see it happening. I mean, we got a, a fairly knockoff version of the anti material rifle, which I wasn't too pleased with. So these are critical strike beacons. These are basically things that you get from the Enclave that will blast down basically a nuclear missile on your target. I tried using it on a Snallagaster the other day, but he ran away. Something had got his attention. So by the time the body missile came down, it was far too bloody late. You know. But what, I'm, what I think I'm enjoying the most about the game is the connectivity. You know, the, the socialising. It's nice to be able to play with friends. I mean, we have to use party chat because if there's just still either people just aren't using the in-game chat or they've not got mics. And I just find without being able to actually talk to people and coordinating assaults on groups of enemies or when it comes to sharing loot or any of these numbers that, or even just passing general information on. I feel like the in-game voice chat channels are absolutely terrible. So I would advise guys to use Xbox Party, but most people do play in Party anyway. So me and my friends just wandered the ways doing the odd quest. 
and so far they've already been fighting scorch beasts. I've actually had a few problems recently trying to get my weight right down by crafting lots of ammo and using up all all these different things to try and get rid of some of my carry weight as well and to re repair the weapons that I like using the most. This game is not I'd say for everybody and especially not noobs. If you've played Fallout 4 on easy mode this game is in combat difficulty relatively the same if you're fully specced out to your correct level but if not it's just like survival in Fallout 4 and if you didn't enjoy Fallout 4 survival mode you're just not going to enjoy this. I personally love it. I actually trained for this game using Fallout 4 survival mode and um, it's been great so far. The only thing that I really don't like but is kind of irrelevant is probably the fact that there's no NPCs. This game wasn't designed in mind of having human NPCs. The point was everybody been wiped out by the scorched beasts, the radiation, all the creatures of the waste that were heavily mutated straight after the war. And the only people that were left were those left in the vault, in the vaults, all 500 of us. You know, each individual player. So it's going to be interesting to see how they put the lore in. And how our characters' decisions, which decisions we may or may not have taken, will account for events happening in Appalachia maybe later on in the series. Like in Fallout 4 or Fallout 3's timeline. I think it's an interesting concept, basically letting people create their own journeys. You know, it's it, to me it really lets you personalise your character and who you are as a person. And people get to see your playstyle, they get to see how you might have played Fallout 4 at some point. You know. And it's interesting. So yeah guys, <laughs> this is when we start taking on a bunch of super mutants. Probably die. Pretty sure I do at some point. Goodness knows. <laughs> the demon, uh, the demon king, my pal, he uh, just jumped off a cliff to get away from a suicider. <laughs> ah, I love blowing up uh, super mutants like that. So yeah guys, I'm really glad that you are still enjoying my content and tuning in. And I remember I have a Fallout 4 series and a Skyrim series. Now I've not done much for Skyrim, but I've done a decent amount with Fallout 4. But what I will say guys is, please subscribe to my channel, Johnny's Gaming, on YouTube.